Hello everyone, and welcome. Today's gonna be a little different. I brought the snowshoes. It's finally actually semi warm enough that we can get out here. I'm going to uh, take a walk down the trail. I uh, made some adjustments to my hobo stove. I built some little legs for it. After seeing how many times it fell over last time, thought it was time I'd do something about it. So we're going to go back there, I'm going to have a little fire in the hobo stove, make a cup of tea. Now let's strap on the snowshoes and head out for a walk. Join me, see how it goes. This looks like a nice little clearing. Let me hang up my bag and uh, we'll start getting set. I think that's going to be a big enough area. Now let's see about collecting some firewood. Now this is dead. Should have kept my snowshoes on though. And it's also deep. It's too big for me to take down, but I can use all the low-lying branches. There's another dead one there. I think that's going to be enough wood. Let's get this back to camp. I'll bring this piece and uh, finish processing it back there. Another handy use. So as you can see, I'm holding the saw with my knees and I put a small stick across the front 
and I step on either side. That stabilizes the saw and makes it nice and easy to cut small stuff like that. I didn't bring the chair this time. I brought a little tripod stool. Be perfect to sit on. And then I'll set the hobo stove here so I'll be able to feed it. And it should work out well. Now, the last time you saw me use this hobo stove, it kept falling over. Yesterday, I had to swing by Canadian Tire to pick up a few things. And while I was in there, I came across these little metal plates in the, uh, in where the hardware and the hinges are. So I added a few bolts and I put them on to make legs. So now it should stay up a whole lot better. A lot less chance of it tipping over. So, let me get my ferro rod and uh, I'll separate some of these little twigs to get this thing going. And then we'll light the fire. Nice little fibers. Shouldn't take long for that to go. We're going to let that burn down to a little lower and then we'll add our spikes through and we'll start boiling some water to make some tea. While I'm waiting, I may as well baton some of these bigger pieces just a little smaller.
Now for the tricky part. Let's see if we can boil water without knocking the stove over. So far so good. I didn't bother bringing a spoon so that I can uh, strain out the tea, the tea bag. But I didn't have to. I knew there was all kinds of sticks out here. Doesn't have to be fancy. It's just to take out the tea bag. So you don't need to spend a for fortune getting the uh, the folding titanium stoves and some of those are expensive for what they are. I've got one, but I didn't pay that much for it. I found one. I think it's uh, stainless steel, and I think I paid thirty-five dollars for it. That I'm okay with. But you see, some of them, it's a little collapsible stove, and it's they want one hundred and fifty bucks. Well. An old coffee can, a couple of nails. There you go. I got a stove. Not so great for backpacking because it's so bulky. But if you're running around on your quad or your snow machine, I'm sure you can find somewhere to store that. And then when you want to stop on the trail and have a coffee, Snap a couple of twigs off a tree and away you go. That's boiling. Chai tea. So that didn't take very long to boil water. McSweeney's beef jerky. I don't know if there is a better snack when you're out in the woods. Jerky's hard to beat. Snack on a bit of jerky. Soon the tea will be ready.
That is good. Never used to be a big tea drinker, and then Ann was having a cup of tea the other day, and I decided to taste it. Drinking chai. Very good. Nice tea, the jerky, little fire. What more can we ask for? been so cold lately we haven't been able to get out to the cabin Lucy can't handle when it's that cold we're hoping that uh, this weekend coming is a little better today's not bad but I didn't have time to go all the way out there so we're hoping that next weekend the weather is good if it's good next weekend we're gonna bring two shovels and we're gonna go out there and try and shovel a parking spot and then work our way down and Shovel around the cabin and hopefully get a little bit of work done. If I can get a bit of work done next weekend, the weekend after, I think I'm going to spend the night. Hopefully both of us. I'm going to sit and enjoy my tea and my jerky and then uh, I'm going to have to pack up and head out. But it's nice to know that those feet work now. No more spilling my water. Yay! So, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more of it, hit the subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, may as well hit the notification bell. It'll let you know whenever I put out a new video. Thanks for watching. We appreciate having you along. And we'll see you on the next one.